hello guys in this video i will be showing you three amazing secret feature right on pixel app you probably don't know about i'm not sure if you've seen it or used it before on your pixel app so that is why you have to wait to this end of today's video Sarah guide for you to know these three apps how you can access them and how you can begin to use them on your design on pixel lab so if you are new to the channel please like this video right now subscribe to the channel and at the end of this video make sure you share this video to your creative friends to your designer friends and let them grow together on how to use pixel lab so without further ado let's get right into today's video so all right guys the number one this the number one secret feature on this pixel lab is what i call it a light flare feature so many pixel lab they call it blurry stuff they call it other name but me i'm calling it a light flare feature right on pixel lab so with this uh, first tool i'm about to show you right on pixel lab you'll be able to use it to add light shiny effects to your designs maybe to your pictures to your images or to the background of whatever you work, want to work with so to access this uh light flare effect which i'm calling it on pixel lab you have to go to this plus button icon at the top of your screen you know at the top of pixel lab on the pixel lab interface and you can locate this shiny effect on sticker when you click on sticker it's going to be activated like this it's going to be activated like this but one thing you need to know that before you can access this let's say for example you have or uh, you've you've or uh, you've activated this life flare effect and you just click on this mark icon like this it's going to go so you can't use this like that unless you see this next step i want about to show you so when you go to that plus button icon you click on this sticker so where either you've increased it to the size you want to work with make sure you increase it to the size you want to work with so let me let me undo this let me show you what i want to show you so when you click on this sticker like this and you have access to it like this when you increase this, there are three ways for you uh, sorry i'm still having a mistake so go back to this sticker again go back to the sticker increase it like this so when you increase it like this there are two ways for you to make it stay because if you click on this plus icon and this check mark icon down here it's going to go but if you want to if you want it to stay you have to do it this two way i'm about to show you see the number one way is to increase the size by going over to this stuff right here and go to this pencil icon and increase the size from this place through this you will have it to it will stay but if you the second way you can also use it to access this feature is to when you access this from this sticker like this when you increase it like this on this sticker just tap on your screen like this and you have, have access to it so these are the two ways you can use this shiny glittery effect on pixel lab without it going after you click on this mic and so let me just show you a few examples of what you can do for example let's say you have this over here so you can just copy like this let me just go right here you can copy like this and when you copy like this can you see what you have so let me just show you mostly how what i used to do with it so when you match this like this now when you match it like this, you can use this to add a light flare to your design. For example, this I want to add light flare to this background. So I just go over to my color through here now. I'll enable the color. Can you see what I'm having over here now? So I'll just go over here now. So let me increase like this. So can you see this thing? Can you see how we can use it to add light? Let's say you are working with good designs. This is how you can use it to add light flare to design to enhance background manipulation and do amazing other stuff. So I don't have time for this, but maybe if you want a, a, a full video on how you can use this or this uh, light flare effect on pixel lab for your designs so you can ask me you can comment in the comment section and i'll make a video on how to use this so now let's get right into the second secret feature i want to show you this is the second secret feature i want to show you on pixel lab is what it is done using the draw tool it is called it's what i call the drawing tool the drawing tool on pixel lab so to access this tool is either you go over to this plus button icon and click on this draw or you go over to this uh background let me see this over but yeah why you use this feature which is called draw like this to access it i know many of you have been using it but what i'm about, what I'm about to show you is something you should pay attention to for you to know know this app so now for example this is all the feature this drawing tool have is an amazing tool that my god if you can know how to use it you will be a master with this with this pixel lab so now this is the drawing tool over here now so you want to increase the pen size this is how you increase the pen size but one, one thing i want you to notice that before you draw anything on your screen make sure you have done these settings you want right from here because if you draw anything there is no undo button you can only use the eraser and which is going to waste your time but just follow through and make sure you have your wall editing with this thing so select the color you want it to show on your screen remember don't draw anything yet except you are done with the settings you want to do so you want to increase your size right this you want to increase your size to whatever you want so and this smoothness depends on how smooth the uh, edges will be if you want the edges to be sharp and smooth this is where you get to select it and if you want it to be cool that's where you got to 
select it so and now to this cool feature so i'll show you this first uh fill inside feature like this and let me show you what it's going to so it will enable this uh fill inside the feature let me show you what it's going to do. so let me draw something here and let me show you how this uh fill, uh fill stop does so can you see what this fill inside does to you when you click on this when you enable it this is what it does to you so if you don't use it you only have something like this but if you enable it if you enable it you have something like this it's going to fill inside so this is what this fill inside does and let's go back to this dash line if you go to this dash line let's see what it's going to have for us so this can you see what this dash line we do for you let's say for example let's say you want to create an offer for your people and you just want it to be a button you can easily go around the button and say you want to cycle the button so this is where how people get this uh this dash line feature on pixel app so how you can you see how you can use this dash line feature right on pixel app and next to this neon effect this what this neon effect does is that let me just show you let me just show you what this neon neon effect does neon effect does is that it helps it gives your uh your design this uh blurry look so let me show let me zoom in so we can see what i'm talking about can you see the difference can you see how it has added a little bit of lightning inside this shape can you see the lightning it has added can you so let me show you right here can you let's say you see it's right now can you see how it has is giving it an external and internal lightning this is what this neon effect does to your uh to your drawing and uh, look at this last feature which is the blur stuff so it just help you increase the blurriness for example let's say i want to let me just do an example like this let me zoom out let me zoom out so let me have something like this so if i zoom in on every corner of my design this is what i should have this is what i i can increase the pen size from here if i increase the pen size of here and i'm on that blurry stuff i can look at what i will be able to do i will be able to paint my screen whatever i want to work with so if also if you want me to create a more detailed video on how you can use this draw tool on pz lab simply comment in the comment section below and i'll make i'll make a well detailed video on how you can use this and also over to the next three secret tool i want to show you on pc lab i have already made a video about this on my channel but for some of you who have not seen it let me show you let me show you what this this third feature is about this third feature is something we call how you can import as many pictures as you want at least you can afford import five pictures at once to your pc lab with this next secret tools i want to show you on pc lab so for you to be able to import five images or more at once on pc lab just follow through at this video if i were you I will slow down this video to get what I'm about to show you. So to bring in your import uh, feature right here, click on this feature as many times as the images you want to bring in. So for example, if I want to bring in three images, I'll click on this import as many times as on this import right here. I'll click on it. If it's three times, I'll click on this three times. And let me show you again. One, two, three. So when I click on this three, it's going to take me to my gallery. And when it gets to my gallery, we are going to select the three images i want to let's say i want to work with three images so this is the first one over here now this is the second one and this is the third one let me show you what we have okay i, I selected four so this is the fourth one right over here too so now it is take me can you see the first one this is the first one right here the second one the third one and the fourth one so this is how you can import as many images at once on pc lab so these are the three amazing features i want to show you how you can access on pc lab if you find this please make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and share this video to your creative friends thank you for watching this video see you at the next video